Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Out here at my little camp out again with my buddy Maverick. I'm just gonna do an open air tarp setup tonight, no bug net. Super excited to uh, be out um, with no bug net. This is the first one of the year. I always like to wait till it's like, you know, later on in the year when it's cold. Uh, so there's no bugs and it is freezing right now. This morning was like 17 degrees. It was like a real feel of like 10 because of the wind and everything. A little bit of snow out here still you can see, but uh, not expecting anything except just uh, some cold wind and um, cold weather. But I got a lot of uh, warmth stuff with me here. I See, I traded out the fleece for some wool on this trip. It's going to be a cold one. I'm gonna save my beer for my meal later. I'm gonna make a fire and heat up everything on that. Um, yeah, gonna get a tarp set up here. I'm not sure what configuration I'm gonna do. I kinda figured I'd play with it. I'm already running out of sunlight though, which is just like every time I come out here, I never have enough sunlight. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. Well, I'm wrestling right now. I've forgotten so many things. I've tried like two or three different configurations. My fingers are just getting so cold messing with it. So I don't, I don't even know. I'm like really discouraged right now. And I forgot my tripod at home. So to film anything, I got to use my backpack and sit it up there and try to balance it. And I'm just, I'm having a hell of a time out here right now. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty warm. Like this, this thing's awesome. I might sit here and just like make a little fire and cook some food, drink a beer and then bail. I might just go home. I just, I'm not feeling it right now. You know, sometimes you get out and it's just, it doesn't go the way you want it to go. And I want it to be like a good video too. And without a tripod, it's like, this just sucks. I can't get, I just like see all these angles when I'm out here like filming and stuff. And I can't do anything right now I want to do. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I got uh, some stuffing and bacon to make, like trying to replicate one of my favorite meals I've ever had out here. I also have this, which is a liter of stout that I brewed. Super excited. I haven't tried it yet, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm still going to sit out here for a little bit, make some food, drink some beer. Who knows if, if I get a little bit warmed up because my fingers are so cold from uh, messing around with that tarp. Maybe I'll throw it back up and, and uh, try to sleep out here, but I'm just really not feeling it, which kind of sucks because it's supposed to be super cold tonight, and I was really excited to do a really, really cold camp out. Hey, come here. Don't be stealing my gear. That is not yours. Maverick, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Big old fat schnoz. Look at that. Good boy. Got my camp chair set up. And, uh... I forgot, I actually still have a decent little pile of wood here, so I brought an axe and a saw. I won't even really need to use them tonight, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy some woods time, quiet, solitude, warmth by the fire, and hopefully good food and beer. Getting dull. This axe is really starting to get dull finally. Not good. Not good today. <laughs> A lot of wet wood around, but there is so much wood around. 
because nobody camps out here but me. So it wasn't easy or it wasn't hard to find much to get it going. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. You can't see here. Let's see how she is. It got kind of stirred up in the bed of my truck on the way out. I wish I could smell them too stuffed up. Hmm. I don't know. It's not what I was. What it's not what I was expecting. It's definitely not like a stout you get at a brewery. I don't know. It. Man. It. Not the best. I'll say that. It's not. It's not bad. Like it doesn't have a bad taste. But I was expecting some like robust, like thick flavor, and it doesn't have that at all. This is a uh, oatmeal stout. What are you doing, buddy? Getting muddy, I see. So I got a. Uh, it's hard to see with all the steam. But uh, I got some bacon on a pan here. Just kind of thawing out because it's still like super frozen. Sorry about the video quality guys I forgot my tripod got it propped up on my backpack so I got this uh, this it's an aluminum pot actually one of the first pieces of camping gear I bought I brought it it's just a little bit bigger than all my titanium ones so I'm probably going to just throw the stuffing in this one and uh, heat it up in this. Take a handful of that. I'll just throw some stuffing in the pan with that bacon grease on it. See nothing, buddy. All right. Bacon grease a la mode. <laughs> I always say that. That's friggin' ice cream. Mmm. Oh, that's not good. That's not, I was gonna say, that's not good. It's not bad. Yeah, this is good. I'm gonna eat all this. And uh, I'm out of bacon, but I got a whole bag of stuffing, so I'll just keep heating it up in a pot, probably. I had an idea for a tarp setup, and I couldn't remember it. And uh, I tried like one or two other ones, and just the, the positioning of the tree, the positioning of the trees on how the ground is level, and how it just, it's not right, right now. Oh, this is good. The bacon is on point. Not as good as last time. There's one video I did a camp out, a tarp camp out, I think, Mohican. And I had bacon and this kind of stuff in. Or dressing, whatever you want to call it. It was good. Maverick, you're blocking my shot. Well, so I gotta tell you, this meal is really turning the night around for me. I think I'm gonna try to sleep out here. I'll probably let the fire burn for a, a while now. Because my feet are finally starting to get warm sitting by it. Because, dude, my feet, I mean, I got insulated socks, insulated boots on. My feet just don't stay, oh, sorry, warm ever. Throw up some crappy tarp shelter and uh, hunger down. Honestly, I'm thinking about just not even putting up a tarp. I'm just cowboy camping tonight. I've never done it in, like, the woods, really. That would be kind of cool. So I brought my zero-degree hammock gear quilt. 
um, for insulation from the ground I brought the Nemo Tensor sleeping pad which is not the warmest insulated pad it's an insulated version um, so I brought a uh, like a like a Thermarest uh, Z style sleeping pad except it's a, the Field and Stream brand which is actually way less comfortable than the Thermarest one but so I'll have two sleeping pads underneath me that should be uh, good enough uh, from ground insulation but uh yeah zero degree and I also have a wool blanket too so um, I could put that inside probably inside my sleeping bag because it's kind of heavy so if you put it outside of the quilt it might compress the down and then it won't be as warm so I'm thinking either wrap up in that inside or uh, I don't know I might just put it over my sleeping pad just kind of have a nice uh, wool layer to lay on until uh, maybe if I get cold or something in the middle of the night I'll get out and readjust either way I wasn't really planning on the shelter or holding in any warmth on this trip just being the tarp shelter and I mean I could make something that's pretty closed in maybe with a little bit of heat but really wasn't planning on it when I tarp I like to I like to have everything open it's it's cool just looking out in the middle of the night into the woods and being able to see everything Maverick's cleaning up the uh, the rest of my food here, but I I think I've decided I can't see anything. I think I've decided I'm gonna stay out here. So I threw up a really really quick little tarp shelter here. All right, so here's the tarp shelter I'm looking at. I don't exactly remember what this is called, but it's one of the easiest ones to set up because it only requires one tree. So I'm tied off here, and then. I pretty much just come straight back, straight back to the ground on all the sides. So what that essentially will do is gives me pretty much the, these like two doors. Uh, I can shut shut these off if I want, but it's really really big and open on the inside. Um, the ground is like super super unlevel in there, and there's like some roots and stuff. So. I might be sliding all over the place tonight, but we'll see. I mean, I was planning on leaving, but after I got all warmed up and ate that food, I'm feeling good, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, see if I can make it through the night. It's going to be super, super cold. I'm thinking like one of the colder nights I've stayed out in a long, long time. All right, so right now I'm going to go ahead and get my bed made up and ready to go. Then I'm gonna sit here, stoke the fire a little bit, sit, just get like super, super warm. I got a little uh, thing of miso soup I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna get, get some hot soup in me. So my uh, stomach's got something to digest for a little while and uh, drink the rest of my beer, which there's actually a lot left. There's like, I think what is a liter? It might be the equivalent of like three beers. So I might have like one and a half to go still. But I'm gonna drink the beer, which is probably counterproductive to staying warm out here but I don't care. Okay, so here is the setup tonight. Uh, I have, let's see if we'll focus here. Uh, my ground sheet is actually a uh, footprint for that green North Face tent that I use. Then I have like this accordion style blue foam pad by Field and Scream. I have my insulated Nemo tensor pad here. Um, then I have this wool blanket that uh, I'm just going to lay on it at first and if I get cold I'll just somehow work it into my sleeping bag and then on top there that's my hammock gear econ zero degree quilt should be good so yeah I'm just gonna sit here enjoy this fire a little bit longer and I'm really not even cold anymore my, uh, my feet were cold there for a while and so are my hands uh, but I haven't even had to put my other gloves on here for a while but let's see. Oh, 
I got a lot of beer left. Look at that. Oh man, I'm gonna probably get drunk trying to chug all this. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'm, I'm really concerned about the spot where I'm at because dude, it is not level in the slightest. I'm trying to, I could have set up right here, like right beside me, but my tarp would have pretty much been in the fire pit. So I kind of didn't have an option. But yeah, that'll do it for now. I will keep you guys updated. I'm gonna take my watch off, try to get a good uh, reading of how cold it drops tonight. I guess that'll do it for now. So I'll see you guys in the morning, hopefully. We'll see, fingers crossed. I'm sleepy. All right. I look really funny right now. <laughs> In the shelter, it's about 6.45. Slept pretty bad, not because I was cold. Uh, I did get the occasional like cold chill every now and then, but I actually slept uh, pretty warm. It's just, I'm on such an angle on this like little hill right here that my two sleeping pads wouldn't stay together, so my uh, Nemo kept like sliding down the hill. <laughs> it, like slid like almost two feet down below the uh, the foam pad right now. Man, these woods, there's so many weird noises out here. I never camp anywhere where there's that much activity. Like I heard like either foxes or coyotes again right over here where I think their den is. And they were fighting and growling and then I heard a buck, a buck over in the distance. Um, just lots of, lots of activity here. Yeah, slept pretty warm. I, I mean, I woke up like every few hours. I probably didn't even sleep more than like two or three hours uh, at a time. The uh, shelter here uh, is actually like a really good design, I think. I could feel the wind coming through the door a little bit, which I did like, kind of tie it shut at the top. No wind is getting in this other than a little crack in the door. And there's even a, like obviously the tree I'm tied to is right in front. So that's kind of blocking some wind too, I feel like. Pretty warm shelter. Uh, I never really had much of an urge to set up this type of a tarp shelter, but I really, I really like this one. It's really roomy inside. It was super quick and easy to set up, like in a pinch. I'm gonna start getting packed up here, I think. Get out of here. It's gonna be pretty cold once I get out of this nice warm bag and get moving, but uh, I think it dropped to about uh, 17 degrees right now. But yeah, uh, no breakfast this morning. Just gonna pack up and get out of here. See the red cloud there all stacked. That thing is filled to the brim. Probably the fastest I've ever torn down camp before. I just threw everything down in there. Just made sure I kept my quilt on top so it didn't get wet. But we're getting a pretty sunrise over here this morning. So the tarp shoulder, I like the three walls down configuration like that. Uh, that was really, uh, I think, warm last night, because as soon as I got out today, I uh, really started feeling the wind. Yeah, dude, I can see now. I couldn't even tell last night. I mean, that is just a straight hill right there, so that was a stupid place to set up. So I would have slept way better if I uh, would have been on flatter ground. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw this on my back, hike out. Hopefully, I can make a half-decent video about this. I'm not excited about editing this one. Just no tripod, no, I didn't, hardly film anything at all but it's still a good experience good camp out it's always fun listening to all the weird noises out in these woods but yeah gonna throw this thing on my back and get moving that's gonna be it for the video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this one you want to see some more like bushcrafty uh just like luxurious glamping camping videos put it down in the comments let me know uh let me know if you guys want to see more of this stuff that's not just straight like ultralight backpacking because these are fun to do and they're really easy. I can just come out in any patch of woods I find. But yeah, thank you guys once again for watching the videos. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. But I think that'll do it. So I'll see you guys on the next one.